Hi, I'm Fayaz Muchtaba, Global Industry Analyst on the healthcare team here at Wellington Mansion. The global efforts to end the pandemic over the last decade have really highlighted the rapid pace of innovation in the healthcare industry today. In fact, we are going through a significant wave of innovation across healthcare. With recent advances in technology helping catalyze and grow several new markets. One such area is the growth of genetic sequencing, which could signal a new chapter in the future of healthcare. The cost of whole genome sequencing has shrunk from tens of thousands of dollars per genome a decade ago to now below a thousand dollars. Combined with improved accuracy of genetic sequencing technologies, this progress led to broader adoption within research, as well as the creation of new genomic applications across the industry. On the clinical diagnostic side, today we are already using the technology to assess an individual's genetic makeup and match patients with targeted therapies. We think it will become the standard of care to leverage genetics across more touch points over a patient's entire lifetime. We'll start to screen for disease in healthy patients with new pan-cancer asymptomatic screening tests to see if patients are shedding circulating tumor DNA in their blood. This is a fast emerging field where we could have FD approvals for new tests in a few years with large market potential. Testing really is just the beginning. It's also been rapid innovation in therapeutics driven by genomes by fostering a huge increase in the subcategorization of disease. Genetic testing enables a whole new world of targeted therapies across cell and gene therapy, uh, mRNA-focused therapeutics, and other new modalities. After decades of research, we now have a large number of gene therapy drugs in biotech and pharma pipelines. This could drive a proliferation of treatments over the next 10 years helping patients and driving numerous investment options. Notably, there are only 22 gene therapies currently approved for use, but the FDA expects progress in gene therapy trials to culminate in 10 to 20 gene therapy approvals annually by 2025. And we believe that number will continue to grow over time. Importantly, our enhanced knowledge of these therapeutics should keep improving pipelines with increased efficacy and safety. This could offer companies much higher chances of success. We think these innovations could significantly disrupt healthcare systems positively. After all, many of these new, initially high-cost therapies could cure diseases that previously required lifelong and expensive downstream drugs or procedures. The investment opportunities spanned by pharma companies genetics-based diagnostic firms, and genetic sequencing equipment. Uh, in particular, we find small-cap biopharma companies focused on rare diseases quite compelling. In addition, there are several new diagnostic and equipment companies that will likely help reshape the landscape looking forward. There are now many dozens of publicly traded companies that we assess in this area. We think this opportunity set in publicly traded stocks looks even more attractive today compared to the past decade. We are excited about the future they could create, offering a potential abundance of innovative treatments and investment opportunities.